Hello and welcome back to my channel. Uh, we're continuing Mad Max. Uh, where we left off was just after I failed that race. So, yeah, let's get back into it. And uh, if you like the content you're about to see, hit that subscribe and uh, like button for future content. Anyway, so let's get back to it. The question is, what are we going to do this time? I was thinking I need to finish this guy off. I was fighting it before in order to get one of the uh, survey crew parts, but I didn't finish it because, let's face it, I wasn't out to fight a level 2 enemy in the very beginning of the game trying to get survey parts, so. Now I'm much stronger and I have a full load of shotgun shells, so. Ooh, finally another storm. I get some scrap. Oh, that's where it's coming from. Well, either win big or lose big. So, uh, I'm going to try and win big. Come out with a lot of scrap or come out dead? I've, do I've come out both before. That uh, episode, I think it was 8, where I couldn't actually uh, put the episode out. It was a failure episode, and one of the deaths was inside one of these. Here we go! Hmm. Gotta look for those cargo boxes. They only seem to fly around during the storm, so... We're lucky we'll start coming across some here soon. No, they're not. I was trying to survive the storm. Yeah, be more mindful of the uh, lightning. I don't see any right now, but is there actually anything on the map for this cargo yet? Nope. Really hoping that some of that cargo will be flying around by now. Maybe I'm unlucky. Maybe there's not going to be any this time. Let's go ahead and get our spear gun ready to go ahead and start snagging up some of that. Wait a minute. Is that some right there? Let's check the map real quick. I saw a gear symbol with a. Might have been a loot truck. Yeah, there it is right there. Is it a scrapulence or what? Nope, it's one of the crates I need. Come on, hurry up. I didn't mean for the spear to get loose. He's getting away, hurry up. Come on, crate. Come on, crate. We can do it. Come on, crate. <laughs> uh, having fun with that crate. Glad to see some of the crates finally showed up. Let's see if I can't break it open right now. No, you will not touch that car in that way. It's not a consenting vehicle. One hundred. 200. Alright. Yeah. And 300. Plus 25. So yeah, 300 scrap just from that one box. So yeah, it's pretty much worth coming into these storms. 
I was just going to wait for the storm to die down, but I decided that was going to take too long. Let's see where there's any... I'm not really seeing the marks on here. I guess it's only on this map. I guess to prevent you from uh, scouting out good locations to grab scrap from. Yeah, we can do it. We can do it. We got it. That's right. You hold on to that scrap. No matter yet, don't lose the car. <laughs> One, two, three. It's like the uh, storm's about to die down, too. Lots of scrap, just the way I like it. There's another crate just over here. don't see it though must be on the top of the hill let's uh... let's get up there so there you go speed racer go there it is Yep, you're not going off that cliff if I can help it. Matter of fact, I'm not going off that cliff if I can help it. I can't help it. You know, you guys just take it easy over there. I gotta deal with some stuff. Let's uh, hurry up and get this before this guy gets here. And one more, because I'm going to ignore you guys, because, you know, scrap, that's why. Yeah, this is, storm's getting pretty bad around here. So, uh, you guys can enjoy your survivability. Uh, you know what, sir? Let's uh, take you guys for a ride. All right. So, how was the ride? You didn't like it, huh? Um, let's get inside. I think a tornado's about to hit. <laughs> A mighty duster! Now, I'm not talking much because honestly the sound of is so overpowering to me and it's kind of taking all my attention away looking for the scrap. It makes me think of Fury Road when that big old twister thing came through. That was a cool scene in the movie, though. I really did enjoy that. Hey, Grifta. How many, uh, how many tokens do I have of yours? I have two. Huh. Apparently I busted the sound by doing that. <laughs> That's cool. I don't mind busting the sound. It was kind of overpowering at the time. Our boost, he says, not harpoons. Totally thought he said har har uh, harpoon. We, I'm in the air. Probably not the weather you want to do this in. Ooh, another container. And you lost your tire. Congratulations. Uh oh, better get Mako. Not sponsored by Mako.
I gotta see how much uh, scrap I got out of all this. Ooh, another one. Nice. I'm getting a good bit for sure because uh, I had, what, 940 something last time and I have 1,200 now. So, yeah, I'm doing pretty decent. Could be better. But then again, the last storm I was in wasn't anywhere near this long. Collect the scrap, please. Don't need to be standing out here in the open. Especially when there's a crate right there we don't have. I think when the storm goes away, these crates go away too, so... The storm just went away, so I need to hurry up and get these last two crates. Come on. Hurry up before the crates end up breaking. I must smashy smashy the crate. That other one, I don't know if I'm able to get to that one. Don't you hit me. Don't you hit me. That was close. I hope so. I was only a few feet away. Still looking at that one on the map. Still here for now. Alright, still getting on the wrong side of the car, but, you know, it is what it is. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Scrap hanging away for no man. We gotta go. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go right now. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. See, the thing is, I can't even see on the map. You know, the big map, how far away it is. I think there was an option to take away the non-rollover ability, but you know, in this game you can roll over so easily, I don't know if I'd really want to risk it. Just in case a wind gust comes. No, not ram it. Open it. Because if the weather makes it break, it doesn't have anything inside it, but if I break it, it'll have junk, and I like that. Sweet leaven, like something from the oven. Hmm. Yeah, two, three. Nice. I can probably actually go ahead and take that final upgrades for the, uh, uh, what's it called? Jet's, uh, final objective here, the large stockpile. I got plenty to do it now. I wasn't dare going to do it before, but now it's not that big of an issue. Let's uh, turn around and fly. That's not flying. That's falling with style. We're just falling. Probably, probably just falling. Go, 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 go. I like that. And spin. And everybody's car tire said, "No, don't let him near us." I can only imagine a car mechanic's opinion on how I drive. Like, dude, I would let you anywhere near a car I'm working on. Let alone a scrap vehicle I've been building from... That I refer to as a, uh... Female. And a saint, for that matter. My point is, this, uh, guy, uh, Chum Bucket... He, uh, probably regrets putting me in charge of his car. Like, big time. Are there still mines out here? Maybe I got these already. I think I got these already. <laughs> I'm like, nah. Yeah, I've died by a mine before. I was very unlucky that time. Turns out, one mine will kill you no matter what. So, yeah, hitting one is not going to be fun. So I think that's the spot that I did the mine uh, disarming off episode in, because I was like, okay, these guys probably don't want to watch me run around with the dog diffusing mines. As you wish. Hey there. Where are you going? I'm right here. You know what? If you want to play that, we'll play that. 
You gonna hit me? That wasn't even a hit. That was a love tap at best. Come on, take your door with me. You spin me right round, baby, right round. Like a record, baby. Ain't got no doors now. Peekaboo, I see you. You did. <laughs> No, they're dead. They don't have any blood. I jumped out of the vehicle. So, chum bucket. How's things? See, I messed my leg up jumping out of that car. I love how both pipes drops uh, a little bit of fiery gas behind it. So, yeah, the engine's so intense it's just spitting fire. Spitting fire. Uh, the car had heavy armor, or at least medium armor, so. And. Gotta go fast! I just missed it. Ah! That makes me the sad. Yes, I do. You'll have to fix them, it's not my problem. It's far more fun to make him have to fix everything. Bye, y'all. New enemy. Pricklies! How much fun. I stripped this place of pretty much all of its personnel, so let's see if they've respawned. Oh, speaking of which, uh, can you refix all that? <laughs> it's like, you're a monster! You'd smash the car into pieces and expect me to fix it! Okay, half the fighters are still here. And I still got two insignias to get. And two scrap. That's probably one of the reasons I left, because I didn't have enough uh, ammo for stuff like that. So, let's see how much fun we can have with gas cans. Let's see if we can even get it up there. And if I miss, I'm probably going to blow up the rest of them I want to keep. Yep, missed. I'm on fire! That was a horrible decision. So, how's your day, folks? I just blew my character up with a lot of gas cans. And now he's going to drink water to fix his wounds, because that works in this world. Well, still more logical than stim packs, I guess. Stem cell research at its best. Stem packs. <laughs> Instantly healing wounds since fallout. Okay, nothing in there. I know that insignia is upstairs, but how do I get up there? Looks like across here. Okay, apparently I busted this open last time. Did I? Yep, I think that's the way to continue the uh, fight. <clears throat> so, let's finish this area off. Alright, alright. Wait, there's no ladder over here. Has I been tricked? Nope, there it is. I tricked myself. <clears throat> I just want to do a lot of these episodes, my throat gets a little dried out, so I apologize about all the coughing. Alright. We're getting closer. And Leon's getting larger! Well, since we're here, might as well, right? I guess in the morning. I don't know why it's empty, though. So I clearly didn't break this last time. One more to go, and I already know where it is. I saw it earlier. Wreckage collector. So, does that mean I gotta level up? 
Uh, still a wreckage roller. I guess maybe that's wreckage roller is that level right there. I guess maybe. I don't know. <clears throat> I just realized this is a submarine. Nice. Let's see if there's anything in here before I jump off. Oh, gas can. That'll work. Hopefully better than last time, because we know how that went. And... Tulsi! I'm only tossing, so I can try and retrieve it later. <laughs> they heard the gas can hit the ground. Intruder! Run away! He's throwing fuel! He's crazy! Damn Skippy. Are you serious? I can't even take those. Well, if you guys insist, how about we do this my way? Come on over. Come on over, baby. Let's, uh... Why don't y'all come and join me? I got a nice shotgun and a gas can to show y'all what all the fun is. Nope, still didn't get away quite enough. Okay, well, that's not working. Gotta blow myself up. That worked just wonderful. And get out of that. I should have finished that other guy off, but uh. Nope, not this time, buddy. These guys are very grapply. Most of these guys aren't that grapply. Probably end up getting uh. There we go. I was about to say, I probably get the chain started, but you know, a little too late for its use. And the ship was cleared that day. Look at those torpedo tubes, how lovely. Stank Gum Legion destroyed. They're a very colorful crew. A motley crew, even. <laughs> nah, they're not a motley crew. So, one more insignia down. That should be all these insignias. You reload since you do it on your own. No need for me to press the R button and throw myself out of a car again. Okay, let's get over here first. I'm betting this is probably where I need the rest of my stuff. Oh, the area just feels like an exit. Could be wrong. Well, could be worse. We could be on fire again. Oh, lovely. Dog food. Well, Dinky D, we appreciate thee. It's one of those times I was like, yeah, maybe I should have put some points into the, uh, dog food uh, level up. Come on. Climb up. There's that last scrap. I believe that should finish this area off. I guess they expected me to run away from those guys up here and be like throwing gas cans down on them or something. Yeah, give me that objective. And finished. So yeah, submarine taken care of. Now I can fly. Spread my wings and fly away. I do kind of find it a little entertaining that as soon as you uh, <coughs> take over this place random scrappers show up and start breaking everything down. 
guess that's why you end up getting scrapped from these locations when uh you conquer them. More scrap, the better scrap. Whee! I'm not even sure if there's any more skank, stank gum locations. Oh, come on. Don't tell me I'm stuck here. Okay, good. <laughs> I was about to say, if I'm stuck in between these two, I'm going to be a little upset. Bug just hit me in the eyebrow. That was weird. A little mosquito or something. Rifta, why not? Because, uh... I happen to have, like, four of your tokens, I think. Eh. Let's take out this oil pump first, then we'll go after him. Because I might get another, uh, Rifta token from him. Taking out this place. Yeah, I don't plan on going all the way around just to come back up here. Sigh, friend. We're going the easy way. Woo! Oh, I'm not even sure what that thing is. Looks like something that hurt me. Weird place. <laughs> Weird place. I agree. See that sniper? Take that sniper. You know what? I haven't had any fun with the sniper rifle in a while. Oh, you definitely saw Glint. And I saw the inside of his skull for just a second. It was a good day. For everybody. You are so pessimistic. Get a little uh, pep in your step and be happy. Don't worry. Be happy now. How many engines does this plane have? Keep an eye on the car. Okay, there are multiple snipers over here. You know what? I think I'm just going to go inside. Because if they're upstairs, I'm just going to take them out manually. Yep, they are definitely up there. Bum, bum, bum. Climbing the tower. You know, I don't like climbing these towers because I've already learned that I fall off these things very easily. And the sniper's behind me. <laughs> yep, definitely behind me. Okay, as I've learned, you have to get, kick that thing down from the top, not from the bottom. So... Means there's some way to get up there. So, steal some scrap and go kill a sniper. Or two. It's still like three of them. Ow. Where is the other one? There's one. That's where one of the dead ones was. Don't need to worry about that yet. Run, you fool! Run! Not even shotgun range, I don't think. I probably am. Someone here. We got company. You don't have anybody here. You don't you don't know what you're talking about. It's fine. Okay, there's that ladder. Thought it was nearby. Hey, gunman. How's it going? Oh no. I was supposed to shoot you in the face with a shotgun, but you know. If you're going to play this game, I'm just going to have to play Mr. Fisty Face. You don't win that game too much. I'm sorry. You know, you might consider it not fair since you got a sniper rifle, but I consider it not fair that you have a sniper rifle and I don't. Like currently. 
It's in the car, so I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but... You know. Good old sniper battle. I mean, it is my fault I got out of the car. I mean, I could have took him out from a distance, but... Yeah, whatever. Got my... Put my ketchup on my ketchup t-shirt on today. <laughs> Had to look in the other camera and saw that I had it on. Oh yeah, I forgot I was wearing that. All right. Should be one more up here, I think. Matter of fact, from that little indicator, I'm thinking there is one left. Top right-hand corner. Oh yeah, you guys can't see that because of my... Uh, Monitor screen is up there. Monitor screen. I'm so special. Alright. Well, good night, Mr. Sniper. We'll miss you. Not really. Oh, yeah. That's not bad, guys. That's how much my uh, skill is for uh, limits, or whatever it's called. Rage. Seriously, how did someone get this stuff up here? I know it's a video game, but still, to stack this broken plane up like this. Brings oh so many questions. Is it an airplane photo? Nope, guns. Dude, we're running out of options here. If you want to get a gun, you better pull the proverbial trigger man and or you'll uh, end up paying big bucks for a bunch of rust and dust. <laughs> Ain't that the truth. That when crap hits the fan, the first ones to get the, uh, not just guns, but anything, are the ones who end up surviving the longest and come out of things the best. Because uh, if you're not prepared, you end up becoming uh, ill-equipped for whatever situation is around. Probably something I should bring up in a future episode, you know, general preparedness that people need to have. Because uh, there's a lot of people that aren't prepared for anything. You know, whether it be uh, natural disaster, war, or uh, famine. You know, I mean, think about it right now, whoever's watching this video. How's your pantry looking? Do you have enough food for a month? Do you have enough food for two months? You know, if a natural disaster hit, you know, a hurricane or a tsunami hit, uh, could you survive without having access to the grocery store? How much water do you have? Do you have enough stockpiled water? I mean, look at poor Max here. He's had to get water like this because uh, he wasn't ready. <laughs> I'm kidding. There's no way he would have been ready for nuclear holocaust. But, uh, yeah, I mean, a lot of people don't have any preparedness. And, you know... If you happen to watch this, you know, next time you're at the store and you see uh, t buy one, get one free or something, yeah, might want to hit that up. You know, every little bit helps in the uh, event of emergency. And don't forget, uh, <laughs> you might want to invest in a, if you're just going for canned food, a can opener, manual, just in case. Because uh, that electric probably won't work for whatever's happened out there. Wait a minute, that's the way I came from. I need to go down to that one. Oh, silly me. Actually, I could probably just jump off this. Yeah. It hurt, but I made it. I was like, if I don't bounce off that, I might die. Ah, I think there's a convoy out there. I do like how he grabs his leg. It's like, he's the one of the first video game characters that after you fall, he's like, he's not like, oh, I'll just shake it off and run off in a high speed. He's like, oh, crap, I hurt myself. Ow, it hurts. Okay, so, I was going to take out this oil rig. I just want to see what hood ornament this truck's got. Not like I don't got enough uh, ammo and, uh, actually I take that back, this could be a uh, up-armored convoy. Hello my honey, hello my darling, I'm going to ram you girl. Well, one down. 
Yeah, these are up armor trucks. Yep. Heavy armored little babies. Tank babies. Where's that other one? There he is. I'm gonna get ya. I'm gonna get ya. Ugh. Flip to flip to flip. I'm in no position to shoot it yet. There we go. There goes his armor for it. Come on, let's get out there and hit that guy again. If we take out his gas tank, we'll be in good shape. Yeah, it doesn't. It takes a lot of uh, hits on those guys. Good night. Hooray for fireworks! We all love them. And there goes him. Ow. Yep, can't hit you right now. Come on, truck. Oh, I hit the R button again. And I got run over. Oh. And Chump Bucket's just fixing the car. I noticed. Oh, this is going to be bad. So, how you guys doing? It's like a heavily up-armored one. Woo. You know what? <laughs> I think this is where we're going to say goodbye to these guys. His old chum buddy, old pal. It's much fun as it is to slam into this guy. Our car isn't enough health to take on a level 3 armor. But you got the standard health, and then you got two layers of armor on top of it. Jeez, that thing sounded like uh, some kind of monster coming at us. Jeez, he's just grinding us. Okay, there goes his grinding uh, wheel. Take that tire off. There we go. You fix this car. I'm gonna kick his ass for messing with our car. You know what? I want to throw you into your own car, but that didn't work. I am sad now. <laughs> Then again, taking this car might not be such a bad idea. I mean, it is a heavily up-armored uh, vehicle. Not for 145 points, though. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather use that scrap on my own vehicles. Or upgrading the town. So, chum. Old chum old buddy. Let's, uh... I'm looking at the time. Actually, I'm kind of running out of time. I got kind of distracted back there, so, uh... Yep. Yeah. Didn't quite get to that oil rig I said we are going to get to. But, that'll be the next episode. We're getting pretty darn close, so... I guess we'll actually leave it off here. So, I appreciate you all for joining us out there, and... Come again for the next episode. Anyway, take care, and be safe out there.